A gay man who has been to prison many times, develops a relationship with his cellmate who is jailed for serial murder. Hi, back again at Allo Recaps. Today we will recap a story from a 2021 movie, Great Freedom. Before we get into the story, I hope you and your family are healthy and happy always, and without further ado, let's play the story. The movie begins by showing several videos from a hidden recording installed in a public restroom. The recording shows the activities that take place in the restroom, a man named Hans seduces every man who enters the restroom, and invites them to have relations. As a result of his actions, Hans was eventually charged with Article 175 which criminalized homosexual acts. And in 1945, Hans first received a two-year prison sentence. At that time, he tried to escape from prison, but the prison officer was still able to catch him. Because of his actions, Hans finally received a sentence of isolation for several days. At the same time, Hans first met Victor who would become his cellmate. Initially, he was in the same cell with Victor and they did not know each other. Previously Hans had also worked as a tailor who recycled the clothes of former Nazi soldiers. When Victor learned that his cellmate was a prisoner for homosexual acts, he was furious and did not want a homosexual to be in the same cell with him. When Hans returned to his cell, Victor immediately threw all his belongings and told him to get out of the cell. Because Hans insisted on going back in, Victor beat him outside his cell door. Fortunately, the guard saw them and stopped Victor. Victor asked the guard to move Hans to another cell, but the guard ignored his request and immediately ordered him back into his cell. Instead of feeling sorry, the guard was also rude, asking Hans to get up and re-enter his cell. Inside the cell, Victor reminded Hans that he would die if he dared to touch him. Hans was just silent at that time. In the middle of the night when Victor was asleep, Hans saw several stubs of Victor's used cigarettes that had been discarded on the floor. He gathered them together and was about to smoke them. He rolled them with the Bible sheets he had. When he took Victor's lighter to light his cigarette, Victor suddenly woke up and twisted Hans' hand on his desk. At that time, Victor saw the number that was imprinted on Hans' ground. Hans immediately covered it up and returned to his bed. He didn't end up smoking his cigarette. The next day in the prison yard, Hans asked for fire from the others to light his cigarette that he still kept from last night. But no one wanted to give him fire, and he was ignored. Victor watched him from a distance. But he was also reluctant to give his lighter. He still felt disgusted with Hans. While eating, he sometimes looked at Hans with hatred. Even so, Hans' attitude seemed to make Victor's heart a little pity. He finally gave his lighter to Hans, after he finished his food. Hans was finally able to enjoy his cigarette. Then Victor also asked about the number on the tattoo on his hand. He found out that Hans was a former transfer from another prisoner. Victor also offered him to disguise the number into a tattoo. Coincidentally, Victor has the ability to make tattoos. Although he was hesitant, but Hans agreed. The next day, Victor secretly took charcoal from the kitchen while he was working there. Hans also secretly took a needle from the sewing machine he was using. They began to make the tattoo in the evening. When Victor asked what kind of tattoo Hans wanted, Hans looked nervous and asked Victor to draw anything. While talking at that time, Victor said that he couldn't live without women. Hans then replied that he would get used to it. Victor was angry to hear this and stopped drawing the tattoo. The next day when the prison guard inspected their cell, the guard saw a half-finished tattoo on Hans' hand. Hans and Victor were silent when the guard asked who did it. The guard went back to check every corner of their cell. The prison guard finally found out where Victor hid the tattooing tools. Victor was only silent when the prison guard asked who the owner was. Finally Hans admitted that it was his own. He was sentenced to isolation in a dark and narrow room. After serving his sentence of isolation, Hans continued to live in the same cell with Victor. Victor finally finished the tattoo on his hand. Until finally, Hans was released from prison. When he wanted to say goodbye to Victor, he asked him not to do so. He only asked Hans to occasionally send him cigarettes. And after a few years Hans was free from prison, he was in a relationship with a young man named Oscar. But because homosexual relationships were still considered a criminal offense, Hans and his lover were finally imprisoned in 1957. While in prison, Hans could not control his desires, and he was caught forcing Oscar to make love. Therefore, Hans had to get another sentence of isolation. 
And after Hans finished his isolation sentence, he and Oscar were finally separated and each had their own cell. Hans and Oscar could only meet when they rested in the prison yard. When Hans saw Oscar in the prison yard, he immediately approached him. But Oscar seemed afraid of being approached by Hans. He was still upset because Hans' behavior was so barbar -bar that made him sentenced to isolation several times. But Hans did not care about that. He instead asked where Oscar's cell was and what his activities were. Oscar also told him his cell number, and that he worked painting in the detention cell. Hans says that Oscar's job is fun because it's always getting a breath of fresh air. But Oscar disagrees with him. Their conversation was stopped by the prison guards who asked them to split up. Oscar tried to stay away from Hans but Hans insisted on following him. The prison guard immediately hit Hans several times for trying to resist him. Since then, Hans is no longer allowed to rest in the prison yard. The incident was also noticed by Victor. At that time, Victor was in charge of distributing food to each cell. He also knew Hans's cell through the half-finished tattoo he had made on Hans's hand. Hans did not hesitate to ask Victor for a cigarette. Meanwhile, Hans still wanted to meet Oscar, but he was not allowed to rest in the yard. Through the Bible that he still keeps, he finds a way to communicate with Oscar. The next day, he again secretly took a needle from a sewing machine. Afterwards, he stabbed the Bible with the needle he had taken. The next day, when Victor returned to distribute food, Hans asked him to give his Bible to Oscar who was in cell 163. Victor objected to this and gave the excuse that he did not have access to the cell. Hans advised him to give it to him in the prison yard. But Victor replied that he did not want to be seen with a homosexual prisoner. He also refused to help Hans. In the meantime, Victor didn't know how to vent his desires, other than doing sports. He was always accompanied by his cellmate. The next day when he returned to distribute food, he informed that he was willing to help Hans if he wanted to do something for him. Hans was happy to listen to him and asked what Victor wanted. Awkwardly Victor said it, he intended to ask Hans to help him vent his desires. However, Hans replied that he didn't do that to everyone. Victor was upset to hear that and immediately closed the door hole. He also undid his intention. But before he walked away from Hans' cell door, Hans summoned him again and told him that he was willing to do what Victor wanted. After doing so, Hans immediately gave his Bible to Victor to hand over to Oscar. At that moment, Victor went straight to the cell that Hans had informed him about. Before handing over the Bible, Victor peeked into the cell first and found out that the person in the cell was the young man he had seen with Hans in the prison yard. Even so, Victor still gave his Bible and delivered a message from Hans. Victor peeked back into the cell to find out what was behind the Bible. Victor stopped peeking when Oscar turned to him. He could not guess what was behind that Bible. Meanwhile, Oscar knew what the Bible implied. He finally realized the needle holes that Hans had made to mark some words. Oscar finally managed to crack Hans' love letter. Hans also gave a message for Oscar not to get up from his bed if the guards came to check on them. That night Oscar was finally punished to sleep outdoors, and he saw Hans there. After the prison guards left, Hans immediately hugged Oscar. But Oscar still tried to avoid him. Hans offers his jacket but Oscar refuses. Oscar asked Hans why he had to do that. From their conversation, it was known that they had both been caught in a scandal in prison. This made them separated and each received an isolation sentence. Oscar is also still upset with Hans' attitude who cannot see the situation. With tears in his eyes, he tells him that they won't be able to live together. Seeing Oscar despairing, Hans tries to comfort him and says that the two of them will go to East Germany after they get out of prison, where LGBT life in East Germany is more accepted. Oscar just smiles listening to Hans' sweet dream, as if he thinks it's a joke and something impossible to do. Even so, he still caresses Hans and invites him to make love. Hans says that he loves Oscar. But Oscar doesn't reciprocate. The scene then shows video footage that captures the beautiful moments between Oscar and Hans before they were arrested and imprisoned. The scene that also reads a reply message to Hans, expressed by Oscar through his Bible, as if looking for the last message that Oscar poured out for Hans. The next day while Victor and the others were working in the kitchen cooking, they saw someone commit suicide jumping from the roof of the prison. Victor was shocked to see that the person who committed suicide was Oscar. While Hans did not yet know what happened, because he was not allowed to rest in the prison yard.
Shortly after, the prison guard came to his cell and invited Hans to rest in the courtyard. As he is taken to the courtyard, Hans tries to see Oscar, but he is noticed by several other prisoners. Hans has not yet realized that Oscar died by suicide. He comes up to Victor who is busy playing Ludo with the others. Hans asks where Oscar is. Victor also informed him that Oscar was no longer there. Hans hadn't realized it at the time. He asked where the prison guards had taken Oscar. Victor finally said that Oscar himself chose to leave and fell from the roof of the prison. Hans didn't believe what Victor said. He moved away from them and continued to look around. He still didn't see Oscar and he began to feel confused. Victor felt sorry for him. He got up from his seat and came over to Hans. Hans asked him to stay away. At that moment Victor tried to strengthen Hans. Ventured to hug him in the middle of the prison yard. Hans cried so hysterically and Victor did not want to let go of his embrace, so they fell down together. Soon, the prison guard came to separate the two of them. Victor tried to fight the prison guard and insisted on holding Hans. He did not want to let go of his hand even though the prison guard had hit him, and Victor seemed to protect Hans. Because of this, they were both dragged back to be sentenced to isolation. After serving two years in prison, Hans was finally released. While Victor is still serving a 20-year prison sentence. Although he had been in and out of prison several times, Hans still did not stop committing homosexual acts, and was caught doing it again in the same public toilet. In that toilet, he was caught on camera having a relationship with a man named Leo. In 1968, Hans returned to prison again. After a very strict examination, he got a special cell for himself. There, Hans was still employed as a tailor. He saw that Victor was also employed there. Victor was also surprised to see Hans back in prison. He seemed to feel happy. Hans was also happy to see him approach him. He said that he had missed Victor. Victor was also happy to hear it. They were both witnessed by Leo, or the young man who had been in contact with Hans in the public restroom. It turned out that he was arrested earlier than Hans, and he was also employed as a tailor. He and Hans watched each other. In the evening, Hans secretly rolled his tobacco again. He enjoyed it alone. The next day, a young man named Leo came to clean Hans' cell. Hans asked where the young man was arrested. The young man replied that he was arrested in a toilet. Coincidentally Hans was also arrested by the police in the same place. They both realized that they had met before, but both did not want to reveal it. When all the prisoners were allowed to rest in the courtyard, Hans saw Leo being mistreated by other prisoners, calling him a faggot. Hans approached them and tried to keep Leo away from the prisoners who mocked him. But one of them fought Hans, which made Hans spontaneously fight with him. The fight was witnessed by the prison guards. Victor, who was also among the prisoners, looked upset by what Hans had just done. Hans was again sentenced to isolation. Secretly, Victor did not forget to give Hans cigarettes throughout his isolation. Not long after, Hans was released from the isolation room. As he was smoking from his cell window, he again saw Leo coming to clean his room. He asked Leo to close his cell door, and persuaded him to smoke with him. They shared a cigarette and talked for a while. Leo said that he was a teacher. The two of them grew closer, even sitting together when all the prisoners held worship in the evening. Occasionally they glanced at each other. On the other hand, Victor also noticed them and looked a little jealous. The next day while in the bathroom, Hans came close to Leo. He also whispered to Leo so that tonight he did not get up from his bed when the prison guards checked them. Although he was confused by what Hans said, but at night he still did what Hans had said. When the prison guard woke them up and checked on their condition, Leo stayed in his bed, pretending to sleep as if he didn't listen to the prison guard's orders. Because of that, he was punished to sleep in an open room. There, he met Hans. It turned out that Hans also did the same thing so that they could meet. Hans asked Leo to sit next to him, and they started dating. After making love, he asked if Hans often did something like that. Hans replied that he didn't do it often. Hearing that, Leo was convinced that Hans really loved him. They went back to talking about their encounter in a restroom. Hans realized that Leo was arrested for his actions. He confessed to the police that Hans forced him to have intercourse. But the police did not believe him, and he remained in jail. The next morning, they returned to their respective cells. That day, Victor came to see Hans and reminded him to be careful with the young man. But Hans instead accused Victor of being jealous.
Victor denied the accusation and said that he was only worried about Hans being labeled a homosexual in prison and getting a harsher sentence. Hans countered that it was no different from what Victor had done, who was still using drugs in prison. Victor did not accept the accusation, and he still tried to advise Hans. But Hans left immediately. At night, Hans again slept outside with the young man. While stroking the young man's head, Hans imagined his lover Oscar who died by suicide. Shortly thereafter, without Leo's knowledge, Hans finally wrote a confession letter that it was he who forced Leo to commit homosexual acts, which made Leo a criminal. He did so that Leo was released from prison. Leo was surprised to find out about it. When he and Hans were taken to court to file the petition, he asked why. Hans replied that it was what Leo wanted, and he didn't deserve to be in prison. Leo replied that he didn't want it that way. He went on to ask what about their relationship. Hans replied that they never had any relationship. Leo was shocked and remained silent. He was eventually released from prison. Meanwhile, Hans remained in prison and continued his work as a tailor. Soon after, Victor would also be released after 20 years in prison. But before the prison guards took him into the administration room, Victor insisted on going to the toilet. There, he injected something into his body. He fainted and did not come out of the toilet room. After a while, the prison guard saw him. Victor was eventually not released from prison and he remained in his cell. At the same time, Hans has replaced Leo's job as the cleaner of each cell. He finally got to see Victor's cell for the first time. He was amazed and tried to touch a sexy picture from the top of Victor's desk. Then, Hans said that he could help Victor. But Victor replied that he didn't need any help from Hans. Hans immediately left his cell. But after a few days, Victor asked the prison guard to move Hans to the same cell as him. He gave his gold necklace to the prison guard, so that his request would be granted. The prison guard accepted. Finally Hans was moved to Victor's cell and Victor immediately prepared a bed for him. Hans takes care of Victor when Victor is sickly and vomiting. In addition, Victor also tells the case of the murder he committed so that he went to prison. He killed the man who slept with his wife, when he returned from the battlefield, and found his wife cheating on him. He felt very guilty about it, felt that he did not deserve to be released from prison. Because of his drug addiction, Victor felt uneasy and could not sleep until dawn. While Hans was still asleep, Victor quietly got up from his bed and took out some kind of medicine that he kept in the back of his small closet. But Hans saw him and tried to stop him. He also held Victor's body by hugging him so tightly. They ended up sleeping together until the morning. Even though they were in the same cell, Victor was still reluctant to get close to Hans. When they were resting in the prison yard, Victor told Hans that he was not like him and he asked Hans to stay away from him. Hans immediately walked away from Victor. Even so, Victor's heart began to ache, as if he was in love with Hans. He couldn't even sleep at night. That night, he got up from his bed and chose to sleep in Hans' bed while hugging him. Since then, Victor has begun to dare to be close to Hans. Shortly after that, Hans read a magazine that reported that the law for homosexual acts had been abolished. That night, before he told Victor about it, he invited Victor to try to escape from the prison. Of course Victor said that it was impossible for them to do. Hans asked Victor to try to do it, but Victor shouted that there would never be a way out for them. Hans then gave Victor the magazine he had read. Victor was astonished to read the news, and couldn't believe that the homosexual law had been eliminated so easily. He realized that Hans would soon be released from prison. He looked sad to tell Hans that. Hans said that he would not return to the prison. That night, Hans woke up when he heard voices from one corner of his cell. He saw Victor trying to escape and trying to smash the window of his cell. Hans asked Victor to stop and pulled him down. Long story short, Hans finally got out of prison. After a few days of release, he entered a bar called Great Freedom. A bar specifically for LGBT people. There, he noticed a man. Then the man invited him to go down to the basement. In that room, Hans watched the gays freely making out. But the scene did not seem to raise Hans' passion, and he did not find the man there either. Hans went back to the bar and bought the cigarettes that Victor liked. After that, he went out of the bar and broke a gold shop using a stone. He took some gold from there. But he did not try to escape even though the shop's alarm went off. Instead Hans sat back and smoked in front of the shop. He seemed to hope to go back to prison to meet Victor again and the movie was over.
Overall, Great Freedom is an important and provocative movie that provides strong social commentary on discrimination and oppression against LGBTQ individuals. The movie is also a moving love story about two people finding connection and support in a difficult situation. The most important message of this movie is about the importance of tolerance and acceptance towards LGBTQ individuals. It shows how discrimination and oppression can cause deep suffering and trauma. It also shows that love and compassion can overcome stigma and hatred. The message I want to convey, most is that everyone deserves to be loved and accepted for who they are, regardless of their sexual orientation. So what do you think about this movie? If you like it please click like and leave a comment for this video. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss a video from Allo Recaps. See you next video.